Hello, I'm Philly Bob Kinney, and I'm here at the uh, Cross Quills Writers Meeting, and I'm going to be reading from uh, a poem from uh, my upcoming book, Echoes from a Blazing Blade of Grass. And this particular poem is called The Wishful Word. It goes like this. Your words, like sweet cherries, spout from your mouth to be devoured whole. Their sweetness fly on invisible wings to the waiting orchard of my ears. Here they are reborn as butterflies, their cocoons now a catalyst, a shedding of frailties cast adrift by a single word. The bright flare of your thoughts of me now glow in the embers of my soul. Speak to me, anything that I hear I can interpret as your wish. I glow in anticipation of the single word I hear fly from your lips. The word that frees itself from the warmth of your cheeks and with a blushing intake of breath it spouts sails, swirling into the open channel of my being. I await my eyes like the beacon of a lighthouse. Your word, a roaming wave, cracks upon the rocks of my marooned heart. Oh, the power of your word on sail, billowing its timber of hope, carrying its guide to my turbulent soul to seek refuge there and awake upon the stars that shine upon the shore of my surrendering will. I am like a whale out of water that hears your call. Your word beams as I try to mimic it aloud. My body is beached, my mind adrift. Your word guides me back to the water of life. Take me in your dreams back from the shallows into the deepness of the ocean of your being. Be my guide to the cove where ships are safe and happiness thrives, where ships are not made of iron and wood, but of flesh and bone. Make us one in thought and deed, all from the single word that sails its journey from your harboring heart to my glistening, shimmering island refuge of need. All this journey from the simple speaking of a single word, a word from your soft voice that in its softness still reverberates in the lofty clouds of my brain. It is the sail that entwines before we touch. I hear your voice as it speaks to me now into the eardrum that beats its march. I hear you speak the word, yes. Oh, the rocket power of that word as it screams, then bursts from the silo of your heart. I am leveled and my defenses are gone. I am open wide to the armor-piercing tongue-tipped word that penetrates my body. Yes, I say it aloud. I am home and it is here on earth. And the name of my spice is you. We embrace and realize all things are possible in this new world where only yes exists. Nothing matters except the sound of that single word, a sound that soars like an eagle into the winds of want, an image that makes its nest in the branches, twigs, and grassy knolls of our beings entwined. Although your mouth may speak an armada of words, all beautiful and true to the ear, my heart hears only the first and the last. Nothing else matters if no is present. Only yes commands. Yes is the last murmur that leads the charge to the final possibility of victory. Without the willing consent of yes, nothing else exists. Okay, Bob Kinney, thank you. See you all later.